You're listening to a Skewed Orbit original podcast. Time, weather, and... How are ya? <laughs> oh. Oh, me? Uh, I'm fine. Oh, gosh. I am... <laughs> I'm sorry. So rude of me. Welcome to the Rachel LaForce Show. It's me, Rachel LaForce, and this is my show. Honestly, I think this has been a grand experiment. I've been thinking about this, that I've been doing this show now for a while, and... I know what I want the show to continue to evolve into. I have the vision for the show and it really got me thinking a lot about what today's episode is, which is I want to offer you a few um, kind of tips of things that happen when you start because the way that I look at my podcast, what needs to be adjusted, how can we reach more listeners, uh, how can we cross-pollinate and get some bigger names on the podcast for season five, like I have enough evidence of what works and what doesn't work because I've been consistently doing it for four seasons, right? So when we've been doing something for a long time. And when I'm going to say a long time, I mean consistently. So it's at least once a week for longer than a year. Okay. That's a long time. Then you have evidence. When you start something, oh, by the way, we're just jumping in today. Okay. No quippy Rachel LaForceisms. Like we're going in. All right. Um, also full disclosure, it is 7 a.m. when I'm filming this. Okay. <laughs> Because when you start new things, it's a learning curve, which is number one. So now obviously I'm not starting this podcast, but if you've been following along here on the podcast, on my socials, you know that I'm on this new journey of getting fit and famous by 40, which is certainly um, taking over my life, which is the idea. Um, But like anything I've learned, what you think it's going to be when you start versus what it is sometimes are different things. And so the idea of fit and famous requires a multitude of doing things for the first time. One, stepping out and saying, look at me. Not just, I have a social media presence. Not just, uh, I'm a stand-up comedian. Would you like to come to a show? Like a full on, this is a journey you should watch. Here's the transformation promise. You know, follow along if you dare. So, the learning curve enough on that is pretty major for me because obviously you could argue, but Rachel, you have been stepping out. You have been doing things, right? Um, yes and no. That's the whole purpose of this journey, right? And then the other side of that with learning curve is uh, a, a whole new fitness routine. Now, prior to me having babies, I, you know, I mean, my body's been every shape and size. That's a conversation for a different day. And why my body was a multitude of different sizes, A, because our bodies change and that's okay. Um, And also external pressure and the idea that I'm more valuable if I'm small and, you know, such boring stories. Don't we all have those stories? Oh, so boring. Hating your body is so boring. So boring. What a boring story. Um, So I'll bore you with it today. But... With this, you know, so I I have the the point of it is though I've had these fitness routines. I, you know, this is not getting fit is nothing new to me, but what's new to me this time is implementing them as this is something I do to take care of myself. Not I'm doing this. I'll get skinny when I'm skinny. You'll like me more, right? That's a totally different intention, which is a totally different vibration, which ultimately is going to give you a totally different outcome. You're right. So the learning curve is even fucking harder and I'm not loving it, but I'm doing it, which is, I mean, I mean so let's just stop there because I want to, I want to talk about what this means for you guys, but I, but I want you to understand <laughs> 
when I'm offering you these, any piece of advice on this podcast, can I be honest? It's because it's something that I'm doing, I'm going through, which frankly, I think makes it way more fucking interesting. I was talking about this. I hired a new um, strategy specialist who I'm obsessed with, uh, Terry Watson of uh, Going Supernova. Check her out on Instagram. She's amazing. Um, And I was saying that as we've been sculpting this new side of myself and this new work that I'm doing. And I was saying that where I'm like, um, you know, honestly, I, um, I'm not comparing myself to Jesus. Okay. I need to say that right now, but also where I was like, Jesus was so compelling and so useful because he was a man of the people, right? Because he was human. That's what made him even more powerful. Um, and I think that there, I was like, I think in order, everybody wants to be an expert. Well, not everybody, but it seems like everybody on the internet. Oh, I'm an expert in this. I'm an expert in that. I'm like, frankly, if we were all fucking experts, I would hope that we would be farther along as a society, okay? Because honestly, some of y'all don't look good and it also feels like most of us are drowning. So, you know, um, but how how can I both be an expert and be an expert in the things that I am an expert in and also show people that being an expert also means always being willing to learn something new, right? And that's what this entire journey is about. It really is getting fit and famous by 40 is a grand experiment for people who would want to work with me, people who are watching, people who are hate watching, new people that will find me of going, because everybody comes to me and everybody wants to change their life, right? You're starting something new because you want to change your life, right? Right. And everybody wants to ha- have it happen instantaneously. Everybody wants it to be easy. Everybody wants it to be fast. And the reality is that's not it. <laughs> that's not the vibe. When you are starting something new, it fucking sucks. Okay. Now there is an element of excitement, right? Like I am excited every time I come to my mat when I'm working out because I'm like, wow, today I'm probably going to be pretty shitty at this. But eventually one day I'm going to come to my mat and be like, whoa, this is like my body knows what to do. Look how much stronger I am. Look how my body has shifted. Right. So I show up every day, not for the result of what's happening, the instant gratification of what's happening that day. Today, when I show up on the mic, it's not knowing, oh, there's going to be a million downloads. It's knowing that eventually when I show up on the mic, there will be a million downloads. So I'm not showing up for the instant gratification for today. I'm showing up for the instant gratification for the next time I do it, right? Which really is kind of the caveat of the learning curve. So again, this episode is things to note when you're starting. And the first one is that there's a learning curve. This idea that you're just instantly going to know how to do all of the new things is insane. With my new fitness journey alone, let me walk you through, okay? Mama's getting 10,000 steps a day, which is the equivalent of five miles. Now, some of you may already be doing 5,000 steps a day. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the people who the thought of doing 10,000 steps a day is a task, okay? And it is, right? So there's that part. The second part is I'm counting all of my macros and there is a significant amount of carbs and protein that I have to get in every day, which means I have to be super mindful and intentional about my meals. Um, And in a way that's not being preoccupied with food. I've been preoccupied with food in different places of my life. This is, again, that well intention of, I want to show up for my body. My mantra right now is, it is a pleasure to take care of myself, which really I should change it to, uh, it takes a lot of planning and it's kind of fucking exhaustive, but hopefully it'll work out, right? But that's too long to be a mantra. So we'll stick with, it's a pleasure to take care of myself. Uh, but you know, so there's those two things Then I have workouts three to four days a week. I'm getting, um, a gallon of water in a day. Yeah. And those are the first steps for the first four months to begin to shift my body into feeling really strong and feeling really free in my body. So that learning curve is huge. I'm sitting here right now. I'm so sore. I'm so sore. There are muscles that I'm like, Oh, (laughs) Hey girl, totally forgot I had. Okay. Triceps be burning. All right. Please excuse me. I'm still, um, the boys have been sick. I'm still getting over a sinus infection. So I apologize. Um, 
<laughs> please excuse me for being human and <laughs> being moderately sick, okay? Give me a pass. So one, there's going to be a major learning curve. It's going to be hard when you have set out to do something new, even if it's something that you've done again, you're starting again. There's still going to be a learning curve because if you're starting again, that means you either gave up, it didn't work out, you chickened out. There's a million reasons, right? So number one is that there's going to be a learning curve. You need to give yourself grace. Learning curve does not mean take yourself off the hook. It means that every day when you're showing up to do something new, you may suck and guess what? That's a part of it. Okay. So that goes into, um, the second part, which is, uh, nothing happens. Yeah. I just want you to sit with that. Okay. I've been getting on this grand journey of getting fit and famous now for two months. And I think I'm down five to seven pounds. It's, it's hard to tell because of water weight. Right. But I know it's working. So I do know that there has been some loss of fat, right? Um, and a significant loss of, of followers across the board as well, which has been really lovely to see. So the point is, right? Nothing like everybody isn't suddenly like, I'm sorry, you're doing what? Of course I must be a part of this. I must see, right? Because that's what happens. Like when you start doing something, right? It's that eagerness. We talk about this all the time to like dig up the seed and see like, is it working? Is it doing what I said, what I wanted it to do? And the reality is, yeah, probably if you fucking leave it alone, right? And so you're going to have this steep learning curve. Nothing is going to happen and nothing is going to happen for a while, right? Because the reality is you haven't been doing it long enough. You haven't been doing it long enough for you to know that you're doing it, much less for anybody else to give a shit or come around and clap or, you know, like start if you just started auditioning or you just started, you know, your real estate business. Like it's hard because we are in that place of just like, oh my God, this has to work. This has to work. But that is what I want to offer you. Okay. That's not what's going to happen, but this is what is going to get you to where you want to be faster, which is you have to shift that energy, which is why when you're showing up from that place of this has to work, that place of desperation, guess what? Nothing's going to happen. You don't trust yourself. Other people don't trust you. It's very simple. That's an energy thing. It's hard to teach energetics because sometimes it's only an adjustment that you can actually feel once it's happened right? Once you've integrated that new uh, level of being, that new level of confidence, that new level of, um, I'm not taking shit from people. It's hard to teach people that because it's almost like a new gear. And until you shift into that new gear, you're like, ah, okay. I was not actually not giving a shit about what people thought. I thought I was, and now I am, right? It's this constant uh, movement of evolution. So when you're still in that place, right? If I was still like, oh my gosh, you know, <sighs> why are we not up to a million, you know, people subscribing to the podcast? It's like, well, I don't know. First of all, there's so many podcasts of wildly famous people that they can't even get a million downloads per episode. So maybe let's slow our roll. Are people listening consistently? Yeah, great. Are we more consistently getting people every day? Yeah, great. Okay, good. Then you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, right? Reminding you that growth is slow. That's what it's supposed to do, right? And again, it'll hit that tipping point and you'll integrate that new skill or you will gain those new followers or you will get that new client, whatever it is, right? Because that's the natural evolution of things. So one, it's a learning curve. Two, nothing is going to instantly happen. Uh, and then the third on that is you have to shift your energy. Your energy has to shift into, um, and three is actually a two-parter, but you have to shift into uh getting away of instant gratification and going into this is going to work because I'm working for it. I've been saying that a ton. Everybody wants to, the dream to work. Not everybody is willing to work for the dream. Everybody wants the dream to work. Not everybody is willing to work for the dream. I don't know why I always talk to you guys like I'm Dr. Seuss, just this millennial Dr. Seuss slash chicken soup for the soul. And I don't know if I should apologize for that or say you're welcome, you know? So when we, we have to shift that energy from, oh my gosh, it has to happen. Oh my gosh, what if I don't get fit and famous by 40? Guess what? You fucking will. You will. Now that may not be cover of People Magazine fame, but you will be well on your way. You, you will have 
made it into this, like to the intention of uh, you, the intention will come true. And I'm saying that to you guys of like, whatever that thing is that you're starting anew, it's going to work because you're working for it. When I show up on the mat four days a week, guess what? I'm going to get stronger. There's no way that's not possible. There's no way that it's not possible that I continue to show up in as many places as I can, fully ready to be rejected or to be accepted. Either way, I'm fine. And knowing that that's a part of the process and saying, I am here and I want to be famous. I want to create something bigger than myself so that other people can also pursue their dreams. Here are the things that I'm creating, right? And so it is instant gratification has to shift to into a knowing. It has to shift out of instant gratification and shift into a knowing, okay? In order for you to be in this place of like, great, well, this is going to work because I work it, you know, the amount of people, and I know it's well-intentioned, but I hear this all the time. They're like, oh, you're so ambitious. And that it used to, that used to really affect me because I'm like, oh my gosh, does that mean I'm doing too much? Like, am, am I like, and it, I felt a lot of shame and now I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah, I am good. You were listening to the goals that I have and what I was telling you because it's wildly ambitious but I know that I can do it because the evidence in my life is when I show up and I do the work that the thing I'm wanting happens. It doesn't mean it always happens the way I thought it was going to happen, right? I leave space for the universe to do what the universe needs to do, right? I'm co-creating. I'm leaving room for God to do whatever it is that God needs to do. And, you know, if you're listening to this podcast, I don't need to tell you that. But starting is actually quite simple. That's what I want to leave you with. Starting is actually quite simple because you just start. We don't need to, we are months and months and months out, friends, from needing to stop and go, oh, is it working? Oh, I hope it worked. Or, oh, you don't need to do any of that yet. You don't need to do any of that yet. And it's so hard. I will tell you what, it is so hard for me to be like, oh, am I in shape yet? Oh, am I in shape yet? Oh, did my numbers move? Oh, are more people watching my videos? Oh, are people getting it? And I mean, like, that is a waste of your energy. That is a waste of your energy. Because again, let's go back to the learning curve. All four of these, then that fourth one goes back into the learning curve. Because when you are constantly in a place of instant gratification and not in a place of, um, you know, knowing and shifting your energy into that place, you're wasting all that energy by dip, you know, looking for the seed, looking for the seed. And it's like, just let it go. You have to know that it's going to work out. When you put in the daily deposits, you've done what you need to do. You're working for the dream. Great. And then that's the learning curve. Just let it go. It's going to keep going. Save that energy for the new things that you're doing. Save that energy for the new things that you're doing. That's it. That's all I've got. I need, it's, it's quick. It's dirty again, because it's simple. And that's what I keep repeating back to myself. Cause I'm like, well, certainly I should be doing more. It should be harder. No, you need to just like relax your crack and do the work and then like shut the fuck up. And why, why overcomplicate it? All of us feel overwhelmed, overcomplicated, undercompensated, like everything in the world feels hard. So starting something new is actually quite simple. Allow it to be simple. All you need to do right now is show up daily with the intention and the knowing that this is going to work and the willingness to do the work. And what you want to do will manifest. That's a Rachel LaForce guarantee. So again, it's very simple. If you're doing something new, I want you to remember this. Every time you get frustrated, I want you to hear me in your head. One, this is a learning curve, so it's okay to not be great at something. We don't need you to be fabulous at it. We just need you to show up, okay? Be patient with yourself. Be gracious with yourself, but don't let yourself off the hook. The second part is knowing that nothing will happen. Probably nothing will happen in the very beginning, and that's what's supposed to be happening, okay? Or it'll seem like negative things are happening. People don't believe in you. It's not working guess what? That's what's supposed to happen in the beginning. That's what's supposed to happen. 
So if those things are happening, congratulations, you're telling people about the thing, you're doing the thing. That is a sign that it's actually working, okay? Number three, we have to release this idea of instant gratification. That's going to get in your way. If you're constantly looking at it and being like, why is it working? Why isn't it working? You're getting in your own way because the reality is that it's going to take time for anything to work. Number four, that's where you have to shift that energy, that instant gratification, that need for, oh no, this has to work. That desperation energy has to shift into knowing. You have to shift into knowing so that you can save that energy for, boom, the learning curve. So it folds back in on itself. You guys, please let me know DM me, email me, let me know what it is that you're moving through, the things that you're starting. If this was helpful, I'll tell you what, it was helpful for me to slow down and hear myself say these things and remind myself of these things. Because as much as, you know, going back to the idea of being an expert, I feel like I am an expert in a lot of these things. I what I love about being the expert is that it's also I'm smart enough to know that I'm always the student and that I always because of the ADD, because of my creative genius brain, I'm always like more, more, more. And it's getting in my own way of there's something beautiful about repetition. There is something um, steadfast about daily deposits, slowing down and doing what you need to do and knowing that you're going to get to where you need to be. So finding that balance. So I'm really excited for myself. I'm really excited for all of you. So that'll be great. Uh, friends, check out the uh, show notes. Okay. Cause I've got, if you did not listen to, I put a free workshop out that's kind of getting us started for this full 20 month journey of transformation that we're all on together of whatever it is that you're looking to transform. So that free uh, recording is from a workshop that we did together. So if you didn't get a, a chance to listen, please grab that link. It's called Activating Your Life Force Energy. Please go and check that out, okay? That's free from me to you. I want you to jump on this journey. I want you to be doing this work, okay? Please support the podcast. I haven't asked this in a while, um, and I was really thinking about it. Can you please go and leave me a review? If you genuinely listen to this podcast, as I know a lot of you do, it really means so much to me. Um, I know so many of you always DM me. It's like, I feel like we'd be friends in real life. Well, friends, leave review for other people, okay? For friends. Um, so please go to Apple, Spotify, um, and please leave a review. I would be, preferably a, a kind one, but you know, you do you. Uh, if, if you could do that for me, I would be so grateful. Uh, share my clips in your social media. We're on TikTok, we're on Instagram. It really, really does a lot. Um, and listen, we're getting fit and famous and we're not doing it alone. So I need your help. So if you could do that for me, I would be so appreciative. If you are loving this podcast, you're seeking more. I have a subscription for you on Substack. You could join the Substack for free. You'll also get bonus content. There's so much bonus content on there, you guys, every single week. So if you are on a transformation journey, if you have just had a spiritual awakening, this is going to be so important for you. Um, and what I love about it is it's $9.99 month. So it's super affordable. No matter, like I always say, I've been broke before and I needed help. I needed guidance. This is something that I would have been able to afford. So I have this for you. Um, and there are enough pieces on there that if you're seeking a ton, it's there for you. And if you just want to like check in with one piece here or there, you're able to do that as well. So the bonus content is already up there for this episode. So you can jump over the sub stack and enjoy that now. All the other notes are right there. Uh, I'm getting excited. I'm going to be speaking at a big conference here in Atlanta on October 12th. All the details for that will be down in the show notes as well sharing all about the power of creativity and humor. Uh, so please, you can go and check that out. If you're in the Atlanta area, there are still tickets available for that. That's all I got for you. I love you so much. Let's keep doing the work. I'm also scared. I'm also quite shitty at a lot of the things that I'm trying to do right now. But guess what? That means that we're just going to keep getting better and better. So don't quit. Don't give up. What you're seeking is seeking you. You got this. I see you. Love you, mean it. Time, weather, and...